Where are we at, you guys? We're we're in uh, Los Angeles at the Commerce Casino for the uh, World Boxing Hall of Fame. Wow, guys! Yeah, it's fun. And uh, we got uh, Kenny Lane here and Carlos Ortiz. Yes, yeah. so that's what we come out here for. Is we're yeah. going to talk about our comeback. Yeah, and we're going to make a, a comeback. I need another match. We're, we're, we're <laughs> going to have the, our next match uh, uh, again. Over okay. Again. <laughs> yes, we. <laughs> And you guys fought. Unsettled business. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I settled already. Yeah. You know. And you guys fought three times. Yeah. Fought three times. Yeah, we fought three times. Three right. Times. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, we need one more. It's more up. How'd you like the? How'd you like that ticket I sent you, Carlos? Remember uh, that ticket? Oh, they're, they're beautiful. Yeah. I, I love. I still. I, I I gotta put it in my in my. Uh, 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 my book already. What year did you guys fight in uh, uh, San Juan? That was in 1963. 64. 64. Yeah. And then you fought in the Garden in uh, 59. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you know he 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 got younger. You know. Did he? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Well, I want to make he, my comeback before I get too old. You know. I, I gotta I gotta get back into the condition. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get back into shape. Right. We're gonna make a comeback. Okay. Got to. Yeah. Got to. Before we get to old. <laughs> right. Uh, right. Right. I want to throw him in there. Use him for a warm up. Is that Lou? Yeah. Is that Lou Filippo over there? Yeah. yeah. We're using Lou for a warm up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's Lou. What they say in the fight? We'll let him know. What you saying about? Gotta go. <laughs> okay. Adios. All right. We go upstairs from here, Pat. We go upstairs and come down. Okay. Oh, you take one. Let me get in the middle of the riff. There's 
rocky back there. Let me get a picture of you and uh, Rock. Get a good shot of you guys. Ernie Terrell. Ernie Terrell. I didn't know that so much of me. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. How about with uh, Amelia Griffin? Did you get him? Huh? Amelia Griffin. Ready, Mike? Didn't take it. Huh? Didn't take it. Didn't take it. No? Got it? You take it with a still camera? Okay. Fame! Next to Kenny, the former super featherweight champion of the world, schoolboy Bobby Chacon. Next to Bobby, the former welterweight and middleweight champion of the world, Emil Griffith. At the end of the table, the former WBA heavyweight champion of the world, 2004 inductee into the World Boxing Hall of Fame, Ernest Terrell.
How many times you beat Ray Robinson? Sugar Ray Robinson. Ray who? He don't know who that is. Who that guy? How many times you beat him? How many times? You beat him twice? of the Armstead fighting. And Paulie Armstead's when they yeah. Kenny Lane fought him. All the way to Saginaw to see that fight. Kenny Lane, Paulie Armstead. Kenny just berolded him. He just Is that uh, right? he couldn't hit he couldn't hit Kenny with a handful of rice, you know. Is that and, right? uh, Ken was he was great. I yeah. saw Ken I think I went to the uh, Riviera Theater, one of those theaters, to see Ken fight uh, Joe Brown, close yeah. circuit, mm -hmm. and I thought he really held his own. Brilliant boxer. I just kidded him. I probably was a little bit uh, fresh to do that, but I said, you only had three things against you. You were short, slow, and you couldn't hit. I said, but you were a great fighter. <laughs> Boxing was a science for that guy. Where he got all that stuff, I don't know. But he was like, there's a lot of Michigan fighters like him. In fact, when I see Chris Bird fight, I think of Ken. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's that's. I appreciate those nice things My you said pleasure. about him. Yeah. Very nice. I never talk to you. Okay. Chuck Weismiller. Hey, Jack. How you doing, buddy? Hey, man. Okay. How you doing? Hey. All right. How you doing, y'all? This is a star. This is a star. A TV star. A family plots. <laughs> yeah. You. Good. Come to see Kenny get inducted. Got to see my buddy get inducted. Heck right. Yeah. Right. I've known Kenny in what 42, 40 some years. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm glad you made it, Chuck. Oh, I am too. Yeah. I'm glad I got that information to you. I am too. Yeah. I'm really glad. Yeah. I got. You know, the thing is, I, I, I Kenny, when he was training to fight. Uh, uh, defend his title, I think yeah. it was in 
in Michigan. Yeah. Uh, Doug McCall and John McCall and myself. Right. Tucker, we all, we all, uh, you gotta get your hands up. Yeah. We all uh, got him in shape. Yeah. So he can win the fights, you know? Because. Yeah. There's some of your fighters right here? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. This is my box with Roman Carlos. Hi, Roman. How you doing? He's real good. He's, yeah. He's, good. he's looking to be well doing well. He keeps growing and getting fatter. He's probably going to be a middleweight. Okay, good. And this is his father, Arthur Carlos. How Arthur do you do? Carlos. How are you? Yeah. And this is Jack Powell. This yeah. is my friend for many years. Oh, is that right? right? Oh, he's, 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 yeah. he's the guy Thank you. all the information. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, hey, let's get... Okay. Yeah. Is it, does it say record? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. We're, we're recording. Chuck Weisbeller, he's the uh, star of uh, Family Plots. He's our buddy. He's from Michigan. He was a good fighter. And uh, this is Rocky Smith. That means he came a long way just like we did. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And uh, we're real proud of him. He's uh, doing real well on Family Plots. And, uh, and uh, I'm just so glad that, that he came to see Kenny get inducted. Absolutely. It's called time. He showed up. He didn't shit when he got him. I know. <laughs> we, we got a late start. My fault. All right. That's right. Hey, you're here, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, Good. Thanks, buddy. Jack. All right. Love you. Yeah, I love you, too. I, I'm going to see you around here in all day. So. Yeah. Okay. Good. Hey. Good. What's your name? My name is Mike. Good. Thank you. Guys, what's up? How are you doing, Jack? Good, Kenny. Good, good. Excuse me, excuse me. Sign one of these for you. Hey, I got an eight by ten upstairs. Maybe I'll get him. You want to? You want to sign one of those? I'll go up and get it. Oh, you say it worked more than once. Huh? I did anything. I think your shoes on tight. He did that even to me. I have a shoes. The boxing information. Yeah. People like you. Yeah. Hey, that was funny, you know. Chuck, you can he fight? He could fight. I, his style was so hard. He's, he's so defensive. Yeah. Every time he threw a punch, it was, it was deflected. And he'd move his head just, to, just like this, just a hair. And you'd go right by. And there were times, and then he'd say, yeah, and then, and then he'd say, he'd say, don't try to hit me hard. And I'd say, okay. And I'd try to zing him, and then he'd come back, bang, bang, bang. And he'd hit just six times. The amazing thing about Kenny Ray is a 17 year absence. Hey, you don't hear that. Yeah. I mean, you just yeah. don't hear of yeah. that. That's a phenomenal in itself. Uh, I, his last fight I saw was in Michigan. How you doing, Lou? Doing good. Getting some pictures of you here. Good. Yes. Yeah. You're the famous referee and actor. It's all great here. Nah, what? Like what? Uh, old people's convention. Now, what uh, movies were you in, Lou? Old Bobby Rocky, Street for No Name. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, how do you pronounce your last name now, Lou? Yeah, and you. Uh, so you're in the Hall of Fame too. I'm the judge. Yeah. 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 I the judge. Yeah. 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 I didn't make it as a fighter. Yeah. But uh, Jack is. What? Yeah, Jack. Yeah. Jack. Jack's got the program of Joe. Yeah, I bought it. No. Jack, you didn't buy it. I got a whole drawer full of them. No, you don't. Yeah. Sell them to you. Yeah. Okay. Advantage the fact that I was I was 165 pounds. Yeah. He was 135, and then he would he would really you know move around and crank on me a little bit, and then I he would uh, I would you know he could see me getting hot, and I started to go for him, and then he said, hey hey hey, take it easy, take it easy. And bing, he hit me. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. The only yeah. guy I know 
know, you can tell, he says, uh, you know, that your shoe's untied. He'll look at it and I'll hit him. Then he, then he pulls the same thing. He says, and your shoe's untied. And I says, no, it ain't yours. He says, it is. Hit him again. That's what he has to Plus, quite, a, quite an honor him getting in the World Boxing Hall of Fame in a truck. I'm so proud of him because Kenny has been a friend of mine for many, many years. I've known some years and, and I always had a lot of respect for him. He's always been good to me. Yeah. Uh, I've always been good to him. And now he used to be a liquor seller. Yeah. 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 20 years ago. And then I could never find him. Thank you very much for being here. You know what? We did cross paths once in a while. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when I was working the stadium. Yeah, yeah. How you doing, Pierce? Good. There's a world champion right there. Yeah, went to the Olympics in Sydney, wasn't it? Uh, Melbourne. Melbourne. 1956. Yeah. And how many how many fights you have total? 81 fights. Fought for 10 years. I ran 14,000 miles to get there and over 2,000 rounds <laughs> in the ring. Yeah. <laughs> That's Kenny Lane's brother, Pierce Rocky Lane. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I was also a world champion. I know you were. Yeah. Yeah. It's been good to me. It got me an education. Uh, I went to Michigan State on a boxing scholarship. Yep. And had it not been for boxing, I would have been a ditch digger. Yeah. Uh, See, now, I had to wait 25 years to be the ditch digger now. Yeah. And I was a military pilot for 25 years. Yeah. 5,000 hours. Yeah. So I did okay. You sure did. Yeah. What do you think of that brother of yours getting inducted to the Hall of Fame? Oh, man. It's, I'm proud of him. Yeah. Real proud of him. I know you are. been proud of him for years. I know you have. So, yeah. And you feel safe. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think my wife went up there. Promotion 
Jesus working the Burbank Hilton and bringing boxing back to Imperial Beach, California. All-Star Boxing Incorporated in Quiet Canada is still presenting monthly boxing cards in Montebello. Smaller productions such as Pound for Pound Boxing at the Henry Fonda Theater and Seven Promotions Boxing in the city of Maywood. Several of the new promotions continue to sprout up in and around Southern California. We hope that you enjoy this evening's show, and with that said, I would like to introduce you to my co-master of ceremonies. This young man had some very large shoes to fill. Not only did he fill these shoes, but he left foot footprints of his own. Ladies and gentlemen, Hall of Famer, Jimmy Lennon, Jr. Boxing trainer, Jesse Reed. 